Hey everybody. Striped Raphael's out and about lurking around looking for dinner. And of course now that I got the camera, he's made his way back to the rear entrance to his cave and I would imagine in a moment here we're going to see his little face pop out the front. It's possible he could be swimming across the back of the tank somewhere. But I suspect he's just repositioning himself to get back in his cave. If you can see that little bit of flicker of red where the rock meets that piece of woodwork in the back down by where that neon tetra is right now, it's not there anymore, but we were seeing a little flicker of tail right there. That was the red tail loach. And there, of course, is my striped Raphael getting back into his normal position. That's pretty much where he spends most of his time, just kind of hanging out right there. Occasionally he comes out and does a lap around the tank looking for food. And makes his way back in. So he's one of these fish that's reclusive. You know, it likes to hide in a cave, but it's not so reclusive that I just never see it. I do see this one fairly frequently. And when it comes out, it's just an awesome fish. I really like this guy a lot. He's about five years old, and I'll be honest, it took about two years before I really started seeing him on any kind of regular basis. When it was small, it still hid quite a lot. Um, this one started out its life in my care in my 29 miscellaneous. He was just a little thing. I got it at PetSmart, and five years later, it's now in a 55, and you can see it's, you know, giant mega tadpole size. And more or less does whatever it wants and just kind of loafs around the tank looking for food. So I did just feed the tank with some freeze-dried krill. That's sort of a treat for this tank. I don't often do that. My garamis in particular um, need a lot of uh, vegetable material in their diet. If you put too much protein in a garamis diet, you'll get them constipated. It's a good way to kill them. I've done that in the past before I really understood that. I'd feed them, you know, I'd spoil them, give them too many uh, blood worms and high protein foods like that. And it just never worked out really well for me. So I tend to keep my garamis more on a vegetary or a vegetable diet with the algae wafers and then, of course, the roots of all the water sprite and everything in this tank uh, serve as a food source too. I don't actually feed vegetables. I know a lot of people throw um, zucchini and stuff like that in the tank. I never bother with that. I just use the high carry algae wafers. They're a good high quality algae wafer. And then of course, like I say, the food that's actually present in the tank, all these garamis just nibble away what's already in there. So that looks like that's probably about it. Don't think we're going to get to see any more of the striped Raphael, so we'll call that a really brief update here, at least brief for me. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed, and don't forget this one here is my 55-gallon Garami tank. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.